Brad here is a special way of looking at the world, Jace. Now they don't read much, but this place is full of stories. What sort of stories? I've got the great boss chases that have riding those hills. You ask anyone around here, and they'll be able to tell you as you can see them with your own two eyes. You know what? What? Most likely those things happen before anyone here is ever even born. But the landscape just stays the same. And the stories come to life for anyone who loves this place. Um, that corpse of pines could be a bunch of fox men listening to a run. And those fox in that hill could be statues of the finest, biggest packs that ever jumped along together. You got it. You know, there's one place I have to take you when it's moving up now. And there, you can see the hounds chasing the fox. It's a right nice place. Kept up good, and only a lone woman to run it. Hard to leave. Oh, look at that. I want these to feed her in the stable. Luke Swank. Uh, I own the general store just, just down the road. And what's your name? You his boy? No, I'm not his boy. I'm Jay Swank's. I work for him. Help yourselves to some water at the pub and rest yourselves. Rest? Oh, surely not. I'll, I'll take this beat. No, boy. You know what I mean, you saw it. 
You'd wonder how a cactus and a wolf got together and made Sounds like quite a sight. Oh, he is. One minute he's teasing you, the next he'll just flop his bones as a piece of liver. Thud, hits the ground so hard he sends the birds squawking. Some sort of crazy critter. I got a dog too, but he could be more different than that. He's my little buzzy. What's he like? Part angry canary and part ball of cotton. Thinks he's a hound dog too. Every time he hears a pack off, he scurries to the hills. <laughs> you look like you're about to fall down. Better rest a bit. No, that sure barely uh, loosens my muscles. <laughs> Anything else you want me to do for you before we uh, take that? Well, if your lungs loud, you could join us for a little dog talk. It about sound if you I feel that might even finish you off. Uh, Bristol Place. <laughs> Expert on boss turtles and such things dumber than he is. Makes the boy happy though, don't he? You don't have to be smart to fill the world with happiness. Smart's limited to the size of your head. Ain't no limit to the size of happiness though, except the amount of people you're willing to share. True. I reckon that Bristol Place's tongue could hold that. He'd just slobber love all over the world. And every woman had their own box turtle too. <laughs> I thought they would. <laughs> Well, it's mighty nice seeing you, man. Pleasure. See you again when the corn runs out. Not before. Oh, if there's a reason. If I'm in need of supplies or something else. There'll be something, I hope. Well, if there is, I hope I get to meet this bristle face and see that wild picture you painted for me in the flesh. For sure, man. We'll bring you along next time, won't we? Yeah, sure we will. Smart may be in a man's head. But I'm smart for a different reason now. I'm not just in monogamy. Truth be told, the smartest thing for me to do now is to win this election. Loot swank for sheriff. I love the country folk, the critters, and the air. But I can't say the same for you, Sheriff Toller. Dragging your big belly and your scout all across the country. Scaring folks in the quiet too? I intend to beat you. But I ain't taking the job lightly. I'll talk to you some of the party and A hundred sacks of corn. Heck, <laughs> a thousand even. Well, look who it is, Swank. Here for long night? Hey, right, assistance. As a matter of fact, I'm here on my uh, devilish business. What the devil are you up to then? I'm running for sure. <laughs> Luke Swank, woman. Hold a man, don't shoot. Then we have ten minutes here to take you that first. <laughs> well, I reckon you fellas might have nailed me. But we all know that I'm one for preserving the easy pace of life that we all preserve. No, you're a good man, Swank. So how are you going to go up against Tola?
What say you get if you will let me? A one o'clock star and three o'clock post. A one o'clock star and three o'clock post. Sorry, one more big call this week. The back show player for office. What is that bigger than the other man? The tallest guy in the car. Told him spin a hundred times, but he can't buy me in my knuckle. He can't write checks on a smile, but you can put one on a handbill. What say you get if you will let me? A one o'clock star and three o'clock post. A one o'clock star and three o'clock post. Get some heat from the bottom. 